Hi, I'm working out in the park and I'm in my bare feet. That's earthing, that's connecting to the earth. Whenever possible, it's awesome to work out in your bare feet. I also like kicking off my shoes if I'm gonna do a heavy lift in the gym because you're forcing your feet to work more. You're not having the arch support, uh, the arches supported by a shoe. Uh, so here I got a 35 pounder and a 25 pounder. And with a 35 pounder, there's various things we can do. Um, I'm all about whole, whole body conditioning. So I got a page about how to get abs and how to get abs is by not training your abs. And like many things in life, it's a paradox. You train your legs and you train your whole body as the most efficient way of getting abs because that's gonna jack your metabolism. So 35, pretty, pretty small weight for a guy that's deadlifting three, 400 pounds, but you can make it hard by doing something more strenuous with it. Like um, you could do snatch and when you're doing the snatch to make it, if you don't have enough weight, you pull the weight on the way down, you accelerate it on the way down. So I'll just do a few reps of that. So for the snatch, you come down into a squat position, give it a bit of a swing to start, punch it up, then pull it down. Punch it up and then on the way down, you're pulling to give yourself more launch. Another nice one you can do with the 35 is, uh, I like to keep things symmetrical, change sides. You just do a simple squat press. When you're squatting, whenever possible, if your knees allow you to do it, squat all the way down, which would be like that. So a squat press. So that's going to do a lot for core, metabolism, and coordinating the whole body together, which is how the body works. Uh, machines are the opposite, the antithesis of whole body training. Uh, with my 25, I'll just show you a nice warm-up move, which is pretty good for inner thighs. So you see, you see ladies on that, that inner thigh machine where their legs are doing this? Scrap that. Uh, either do a wide deadlift, which is much easier on your back, than a conventional deadlift uh, and it's nice to have two different kettlebells because you're using your core more and then obviously you would change it for the next set uh, so the warm-up I was talking about is just a figure eight through the legs like that so you're you're sinking back onto your heels when possible or actually the whole time and then you're gonna switch directions so that's a great warm-up really works a lot of core and legs there's a park workout. I take this stuff to the park in a shopping cart. Uh, got a big sand pit. Doesn't get better than this. Workout in the park. No equipment. So first I'm going to do some wide pull-ups. Good for lat width. Stick out the chest at the top. Then uh, narrow pull-ups, which is going to be for brachialis, brachioradialis and brachialis, and also lats. Also stick out the chest at the end to flex the lats better. One last move. I like to do twisting abs. I don't do abs very often, maybe once a month because I rely on heavy, heavy deadlifts and heavy squats to get my abs. But maybe once or twice a month I do some abs. I like to do something like this. Come up, twist it. The other way. And uh, all the way. Awesome for abs, but like I say, you don't have to do abs much if you do a lot of heavy squats and deadlifts, because that's the best thing for your core.